Hello and welcome to Revolt. Actually, I really don't know how to begin today's interview. Uh, most deaf said it best. The great, beautiful, talented Gina Loring is on the phone with me from the States. It's a, it's a great pleasure. Gina, can you hear me? I can hear you. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> um, Hello, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a pleasure having you on Revolt. Um, again, I always say this, uh, being great artist as you and having agreeing to do this interview with a small blog, I'm not a Radio 1, I'm not like a big shot FM station. It means a lot to me, really. Oh, my pleasure. You know, I was reading, I was reading your amazing resume and um, what sticks out for me is your trip with the American Embassy to Kuwait in 2007. Tell me, tell me briefly about that. I mean, th that's very interesting. That was a wonderful experience. I had to tour to Kuwait twice, uh, once in 2007 and then again in 2008. Uh, through the American Embassy, they have a program called the Cultural Envoy Program, where they bring artists uh, overseas from different places and uh, work with students and perform. And I was uh, really honored to be invited as a guest of the embassy, and I taught a 10 day um, poetry workshop to high school students in Kuwait, and at the end they had a big show for all their friends and family. And then I also did you know, a lot of press, a lot of radio, and, and TV interviews. Wow! And I was able to show them as well. So it was just a, it was a great learning experience for me, and um, it was a just a, a wonderful time. It was a great opportunity to go over there and learn about another culture. And True. Know, Work with students on creative writing, so it was a wonderful experience. That that's really that's really amazing. You know, I am I myself I am half Saudi, half Lebanese. Um, knowing Saudi will maybe maybe a bit difficult to um, for you to get here, but Lebanon. I mean, you know the controversy they've been through uh, 20, 30 years of war, and there's the civil thing going on. The the different religions. There's like three religions in Lebanon and uh, you know it would be really interesting maybe will you be willing to go to Lebanon someday? Oh I would love to. I would like to travel everywhere. But, uh, traveling internationally is just it's an invaluable way to expand your horizon you know, for learn and put things, put things in that can help you with your, in your art. You know, like me as a poet, I love traveling to my real life. I just learn more about the culture Wow, no doubt. You, you know, and um, yeah, the first time I saw you, uh, Gina, was on YouTube. Um, it was actually a couple of years ago uh, because I'm into the the deaf jam poetry uh, that was uh, you know that was going on. And and I saw the the, the poem somewhere. Uh, sorry, what's it called? Um, somewhere I yes, that one. Somewhere I belong. And you know your passion, the way you were you were saying it, it's just too good, too awesome. And then you know I decided to follow you and um, have have this interview with you. So uh, props to that. You know, tell tell me more. Tell me more about most deaf. I mean, uh, I mean, I know you guys. You know, know each other. Uh, I mean, how. How, how is he like? Um, uh, most of is, I think, one of the most talented MCs uh, of, of this generation. He's just an amazing lyricist. He's yeah. He's uh, probably one of the most talented poets that I've ever met. 
Yeah. yeah. And that Yeah, yeah. Hey, shout out to Mostef, and maybe one day he can be on Revolt. <laughs> I've really been trying to get him. He's really, he's really hard to reach. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Um, actually, um, actually, it would be really. I don't know if if the time will allow us. If you can just, you know, um, give us a quick uh, verse out of one of your poems. You know, anything at all. I just want the followers to know. How passionate you are, your lyrics, your uh, the the way you perform poetry is on a, I think on a different level than the regular poets, you know. So if you, if it's possible, that would be great. If not, I'll understand. Um, thank you for that. I think actually I think probably the best way to really check out and direct both to my website. Um, I'm trying to think of the website. Okay. Awesome, awesome. I'll make sure I post some of that as well when, when, when I post this interview. Um, you know, at, 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 at the end, I really, really, again, thank, thank you for so much for the time given, uh, given Gina, really. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very important to me because Revolt stands for uncommercial music and for me, um, you're, you're as, you're as talented, as amazing, as true, as real as anybody can get. So, uh, if that means anything from Saudi Arabia, here you go. Um, you know, it's it, it's awesome. We're following you here, and maybe someday, you know, we'll work on getting you to Lebanon and the Middle East again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Pro pro <laughs> props. And uh, is there anything you would like to say to Revolt? Um, just by asking for your invitation, I just say you know, all the respect and um, and support for for us as as listeners of art. Wow, okay, okay. Well, you know, I think this is it. Thank you so much, Gina, for doing this again for the 50th time. <laughs> um, much appreciated. Uh, I no, hopefully, yeah, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, you know, we can get in touch again and work out something, a visit for you, really. I think a workshop in Lebanon will be crazy because I'm telling you, there's so much controversy going on and your opinions, your lyric, your, your way of, of doing poetry is definitely amazing. Thank you so much, Gina. Much respect from Revolt, Saudi Arabia, the Middle East, and every country, for that matter of fact, for Gina Loring. Gangsta rap, trapped, beat so damn bad. Now my people's summed up in the booty shot. shot.